Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we are talking about the white shirt. Now the button down, button up, the collared shirt, whichever way you go about it and however you want to name it. <laughs> I have been talking about a white shirt and how much of a staple it is in my wardrobe for many, many years now, but I've never actually done a dedicated video to the white shirt, and it's been highly requested from you guys over the years to do like a, a one-piece styling series. So I thought I'd start with my favorite, my most classic and staple piece in my closet, the white shirt, and today I'm going to show you all of the different ways that I style said shirt. Please do let me know in the comments down below how you like to wear your white shirt. If you have any favorite styles, I'd love to hear from you, as well as any any other video recommendations in terms of styling? What would you like me to style next? Let me know in the comments down below. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos from me. So before we get into the actual styling, let's talk about the white shirt itself. This one in particular is a white shirt that I've had in my collection for a very long time now. And this is the oversized poplin shirt, the cotton shirt from Arquette. The quality of their products is beautiful and I just personally really appreciate the fit of their clothing. I like an oversized white shirt. This is my most worn and go-to one. I find that an oversized white shirt for my style personally just is a lot more versatile than a fitted white shirt. I can do a lot more things. I like to wear mine flowy. I like to do a little cool gal styling with an oversized shirt. So for me, oversized is the way to go. However, I do think that a fitted white shirt in your wardrobe is also just as great of a staple, but yeah, it's the oversized for me. This is the Arquette one and definitely my most worn white shirt in my wardrobe. So this is the one I'm going to be styling for you guys today. And I'm going to show you all the ways I like to style my white shirt. Let us begin, my friends. So this is actually the first way that I like to style the shirt. And this is just the one button. I'm letting it flow and I'm doing up one button. And this is something that I've been doing a lot recently with whatever color shirt. I recently did it with my bright green linen shirt dress from Zara and I just love it. And I think this is a really cool casual way to spice up your white shirt. I do one button just to kind of cover the booby area and then I let it flow and hang loose. And I think it just has a really cool effect on the outfit in its entirety. It's spicing it up a little bit, but yet still really comfortable. And depending on what you're wearing with it, you can make it feel a little bit more casual or dressy. I'm pairing this with a pair of straight leg jeans and some heels, and I think it's just really cool. Accessories are also very key when it comes to wearing a white shirt. For me, I love to pair it with this big gold chunky chain necklace, and I think it just gives it an elevated feel. So this is the one button done look. Next up is one of my favorites and is a style that I've been wearing for a very long time. I love to take my big chunky gold accessory. I button the shirt up all the way to the top. I let it hang in an oversized fashion and then the chain is kind of like holding it in place. So I think this look is super cool. It works with any color shirt, absolutely. I've worn this with like a pink collar dress before to an event and I just loved it so much. Again, still wearing the jeans with the heels to kind of give a little slim lifted feeling to the legs, but this is very chic feeling to me, very sophisticated, and it's also covering all the niblets and bits. It's a very modest look, but still very effective. I love, love to do this. This is also the style that gets all of my shirts stained and destroyed with my self-tan and bronzer. <laughs> if anyone has any great tips for washing that out, holler at your girl because it is a struggle. Okay, next up we have the half tuck, another one of my favorite ways to style the white shirt. I only button the shirt up about halfway and I leave the rest hanging and I just take the other half and tuck it right in there, right all the way into the pants and try to flatten it as best as I can and just rock the half tuck. You can totally do this with the buttons done all the way to the top. I think it's really cool and chic. And if I'm posing for a photo, I just kind of toss the other flap to the side and do a little hand tuck here. I think this looks really cool. You can also undo the buttons if you can <laughs> and just let it hang a little bit more loosely. This gives off a really nice casual kind of very chic. I'm going for brunch vibe, but again, depending on what you're wearing on the bottom and the shoes, always a go-to look for me. I love to do the half tuck. It's very comfortable, really cool, cool little vibe here as this is the half tuck. Next up, we have the full tuck, another one of my favorites to do with the white shirt, but this can prove to be a little bit more <laughs> difficult if you have the longer oversized version of a white shirt. It's still possible. I would just recommend doing this with a slightly looser pant or else you're just gonna have wrinkles and crinkles all over the place. <laughs> with this look, I definitely like to put on a little bit of a nicer lacy bra just to hide the nips a little bit, give them a little decor, and then I definitely like to keep this one a little bit more loose and open and unbuttoned 
skin to give that nice flowy casual feel I also really love I guess I haven't noted this yet but with this particular shirt I just really like the cuff and I like to just keep the buttons open and kind of have it hanging I think it's just a cool little look you can obviously also fold it up if you want a little more of a crinkled feel you can bring it up to the hands like that Ooh, gives you a lot more freedom and mobility with your hands you know what I'm saying I just I just think the cuffs are cool and I sometimes just like to keep them out and t-rex flapping <laughs> this is the full tuck so the next way I like to style my shirts would be to include any kind of blazers or tailoring that you have. All of these like tucks and ways with the shirt, whether you're doing it all up and wearing it oversized or you're doing the half tuck or the full tuck, pairing your shirts with blazers and tailoring as such. A chic, cool impact to it. I think so often whenever I'm wearing blazers, I like to go for a t-shirt or a bodysuit, but I always forget how amazing a collared shirt can be with a blazer. Like it's such a classic style. It's been around forever, but the blazer, my friends, let us not ignore this styling of the white shirt. So the blazer I am wearing today is a nice little faux leather blazer and I kind of like to keep the collar a little bit loose and I try and put it over the collar of the blazer. I like doing this with the full tuck or the half tuck to kind of get it out of the way but I think adding a blazer to this just adds such a cool vibe and like I mentioned before I really love the loose cuff and I kind of just let that poke out of the sleeve, do a little roll up of the sleeve to give the cuff a little bit more airtime here and then again paired with the necklace i just think it's a super chic way to dress up the shirt next up we have one of my <laughs> i feel like i've been saying it's my favorite for every single style but truly the white shirt is what i wear the most so this is another favorite but i love love nothing more than layering a crew neck sweater or any kind of sweater over top of the white shirt and i love to poke the collar out you can also do the like chain wrapping around here too this particular chain isn't really long enough for this but sometimes i like to just pull my longer necklaces out and wear that as well and the biggest key for this is i don't just like put the crew neck flat like you totally can instead i'll just kind of like tuck it in under itself and let it hang a little bit like that it gives a little bit more of a looser fit because oftentimes the crew necks have a tighter elastic that's smaller here so i just kind of tuck that up a little bit and let it sit a little bit shorter put my hand in my pocket and let it roll i love 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 to layer a crew neck over a white shirt next up is very similar to the crew neck but this is layering a vest over top of the white shirt and this one has a little bit of a different vibe for me because i let the buttons loose with the crew neck i do it but few more buttons but with the vest it gives it a little bit more of an open casual vibe you can really let your necklace shine and I think it's just a little bit more loose and flowing and I think it's a nice contrast to the very tailored look of the white shirt so pairing your white shirt with a vest you can put you can put anything over a white shirt but very specifically a vest always a key key style for the white shirt the next style is doing a little half tie on the shirt. And this is a style I forget about quite often, actually, when it comes to wearing my white shirts. It's probably something I'd wear a little bit more in the summertime when I'm wanting to get a little bit more of a breeze in the midriff. <laughs> but for this one, I just do up the top couple of buttons and I just tie the bottom of the shirt. And I think it just gives a really cool, nice, fresh, very summery vibe to the white shirt. And you know, this is something to avoid if you've just freshly steamed your shirt. But I think this is really cute and it's a little bit more of a playful fun look to do with your white shirt this next style is absolutely one of my winter staples i love to wear my white shirts very loose and hanging underneath my turtlenecks this is a style i have been wearing for years and because i do live in canada we have a lot of months with cold weather and we like to layer up our shirts so i love to take my white button down shirts again letting the cuff pop out of the sleeve i think looks really nice and sometimes you can get a little bit of bunching here but for the most part i'm wearing a looser turtleneck so i don't really have a problem with the collar but i think that having the shirt poking out of the bottom just gives it a really nice loose flowing layered look and i just absolutely love the two together this little combo is something i wear so so much throughout the winter and i think it's just really classy you know you could also wear your necklace outside of this too. Next up, we are using the white shirt as an over shirt. So I have my same pair of jeans on and shoes and I've just taken this nice little H&M bodysuit and I'm wearing the white shirt as an over shirt. I've rolled up the cuffs and kind of bunched up the sleeves a little bit and it just gives it a nice little casual vibe, but I think it's still very stylish and chic looking and impactful. And again, the necklace, the necklace is, 
glued to me. Wait, wait guys, I can't stop wearing this necklace. I think it just makes every outfit look a little bit more spiced up and elevated. So this is a really nice casual way to style your shirt and just makes you feel easy breezy and beautiful. Let me just hide that nipple there for you. There you go. Now it is way too early in the spring for me to be donning such an outfit, but it had to be mentioned guys, the white shirt can also be used as a lovely little beach cover up. Now I definitely have a linen version of my white shirts that I keep with my bathing suits for the summertime. I don't really like to take my nice tailored white shirts out to the beach, but it is definitely worth noting that a white shirt can make for an amazing beach cover up in the summertime. A, a cover up for anything really, it doesn't even have to be a bathing suit, but get your little sunglasses, get a cute little beach bag, wear your white shirt as a beach cover up. You're feeling fabulous and fresh, I promise you. All right guys, the final styling option I wanted to mention is belting your shirt. Now this one for me has to be very particular. If you'll notice, I've just tossed my hair up into a really quick bun. I've done the buttons up all the way to the top and I've also paired this with matching heels. So I'm wearing black heels with a black belt. I think that's kind of key. I've rolled up the bottom to expose a little ankle here with the heel and I think that this is just a really cool way to wear a white shirt this isn't something I've done very often but I know that it is an option when it comes to styling your white shirt and I think it can be a little cool a little fresh a little more cheeky chic put a red lip on with this and some liner boom all right friends that's it for me those are all of the ways that I like to style my most favorite wardrobe staple and most versatile piece that exists in my closet the white shirt I would love to hear from you guys let me know in the comments down below how you like to style your white shirt and if you have any styles that you like to do with your white shirt that I haven't shown here or tried today then I would love to hear some new fun ways to style my white shirt and please do let me know any other styling videos that you would like to see from me, you guys I really hope that you enjoyed this video today. I hope that it was helpful for you when you're going forth into the world and looking to style your white shirt. Thank you so much for watching everyone and I'll see you all very soon for a new video. Bye!